Well, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Monday, May 18th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 18th of May, that doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you were guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment. To that point, um, uh, already I feel like we could be talking about something that maybe happened in November or maybe September of uh, probably last year. Because when I was just trying to say, just because this is read it, this is dated for the 18th of May, I almost wanted to say November. So that's a, probably a little foreshadowing there. Just keep that in mind. But also keep in mind that this is a general reading. Yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't because everything is not going to resonate with everybody. Okay? Um, I hope you guys had a good weekend. Uh, it was fairly uneventful here for me, um, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, I'm in this weird space of feeling like I want to work, feeling like I want to do things, feeling like I want to create, feeling like I want to do readings. Um, but it still just doesn't feel like the right time. Like, I guess it would be my ego that's saying, you know what, why don't we open things up, blah, 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 for like private readings and all that for people. And then, but then my higher self is telling me, Eric, it's not time yet. Stick to your guns, take this moment away because... When I move, when I finally get to Puerto Rico, I'm, it's, pro <laughs> it's probably going to be like a whirlwind. There's probably going to be a lot to handle when I get down there or something. I don't know. Or things are just going to kick into gear. I kind of feel like that's the way it's going to happen. I'm probably going to get down there and, you know, it's going to take me some time to, you know, get settled and acclimated. Um, it's going to take me like a few months to actually get like the bulk of my stuff that I'm sending down there. But I feel like... You know, I'm probably going to need a little bit of time to acclimate down there. But once I'm ready, it's just going to like explode. And I'm going to need all the energy that I can muster up, which means that at this moment, I need to just bite the bullet and rest as much as I can, prepare for the move, get all my uh, my affairs in order so that I can get down there. Because Spirit keeps telling me this is the next phase in your journey, Eric. So I'm like, okay, well. When it happens, it happens, I guess. <laughs> I mean, right? Whatever. Okay, so that's where I am right now. But for me, it was a very very uneventful weekend, and that's exactly what I wanted um, because I just want this time to rest and deal with a lot because there's still a lot for me. There's still a lot of shit that's coming up that, you know, and, and I'm going to be honest with you, this time period over the last few months, um, has really felt like one of the most extreme roller coasters I've ever been on. Um, emotional roller coasters, we'll say. I'm a huge roller coaster fan. I've been spending, I mean, I've been spending almost all of my time playing Planet Coaster right now just because, <laughs> because it's helping me stay creative, but also I love roller coasters. Anyway, but the, the, the energies over the last few months, it actually started to make sense to me a few days ago, I started to recognize just how much of an emotional roller coaster this all is. Um, and that's only adding to the understanding for me that um, this is not the right time for me to really be diving into anything too serious other than what absolutely must be taken care of in my life right now. It's mainly because there are moments where I'll feel really good and I'll feel inspired. And despite everything that's going on in my head or everything that's, you know, going around us, going on around us in life in general, I'm inspired. I'm ready to go. I want to take action. I want to do something. I want to accomplish something. Ideas are flowing. But then literally in a split second, it's the exact opposite. And I'm back into like the depths, the darkness, the despair, the, 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 the remembrance of energies of betrayal. That's what I've been purging and dealing with a lot. The big thing for me to do right now is deal with feelings of betrayal. And that actually, feelings of betrayal and then system, situations in which I was actually betrayed. And that's just dealing with what's 
happened in this lifetime. Um, and I feel like for me, this extended period of rest and this re in this extreme roller coaster I've been on has been directly related to that because I've been really working on releasing all of that stuff, which is not easy. It's hard. Spirit is saying, so you're purging. Exactly. I'm purging. Um, but I mean, and, and I'm no stranger to emotional roller coasters. I'm no stranger to highs and lows. I mean, I'm an empath. I, 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 my emotions are highly susceptible to my surroundings. I'm very, very sensitive to the people around me and to the energies around me. And it, it's, it can throw me off center very easily, but I don't think I've ever in my 33 years on in this incarnation on, on the planet right now, I don't think I've ever ex really experienced highs and lows like this before it's either been you know i've been on a high for a while or i've been feeling good enough for a while or good enough to like take action and feel confident about it or i've been on a low where it's just i've been depressed i haven't wanted to do anything blah 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 it hasn't been one moment i'm up and literally seconds later i'm back down to where i was so what that is telling me is that i'm going through a purging process and i am moving through it okay it, it's a wave it's very, very much a wave type of situation and um the fact that i'm able to reach these these like okay spaces is enough of a high sign for me to say okay we're going in the right direction we're doing what we need to do but right now is a moment to continue resting and continue purging because i kind of want to get all as much of this out in this moment while i have it now so that i don't have so that i can move forward in the future and i guess deal with other things in the future or be clear enough to be accepting of life again because like it's just been and I'm sharing this with you guys because I feel like it's relevant. I feel like it's a discussion that we kind of really need to be having right now. Um, but I, I haven't even wanted to do anything, you guys. It's it's sad and it's bad, and the lockdown doesn't help. But um, I lost my train of thought, which is which has also been happening a lot lately. I like I can't. I'll get really creative about something and then all of a sudden it'll just dissipate and it's gone. And that only, <laughs> that only adds to some of the de despair and depression and the feelings of lack, but it's the process, right? As Miley Cyrus would say, Cy would, Cyrus, Cyrus, <laughs> Cyrus would say, it's the climb. <laughs> anyway, um, <sighs> all right, guys. Let's just get into these collective energies and see what is, what are we what do we want to talk about today? Here we go. Hi spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, May 18th. 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, so check it out. So you remember how I mentioned um, we could be dealing with things or maybe we could even be talking about some things that happened back in November. Well, I just realized Spirit just threw at me that a lot of what I'm dealing with was kicked back up in November. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, that has, if you've been following along, that has to do with twin flame energies. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be really 100% with you guys. I'm going to, because this is where I am right now. Like I'm so... I'm, I've been purging feelings of betrayal and, and being left behind and backstabbed pretty hard for some time now. And it's left me in this space where it's like, I don't even, ah, there it is. I don't even want to engage. I don't want to get enthusiastic about anything. I don't want to feel inspired by anything. I don't want to, I, I don't want to deal with any of that right now because, because the feelings of betrayal and backstabbing are so fresh. I don't want to allow myself to believe in anything else because I don't want to get hurt. But see, for me, in understanding where I am, hopefully this will understand how you, where you guys are and how you guys can handle whatever it is you're dealing with. But for me, this is a moment where I'm, I'm recognizing all that and I'm saying to myself, you know what, Eric, that's fine. You don't have to do anything. 
you don't. Don't worry about it. Take this time to yourself. F feel through what you're feeling. Don't hide away from it. Don't try to escape from it too much. I understand you need a break every once in a while, but you've got to take this time to feel through what it is that you're feeling so that you can release it so that you can let it go so that it no longer hurts you any longer something that i've noticed you guys when there is something that i'm really struggling with i tend to put as soon as it, it hits my mind i tend to try and push it away but that's not going to help that's only going to prolong the healing process you absolutely there's no way around it you guys you have to sit with it you have to feel through it that doesn't mean you need to take any sort of action that doesn't mean you need to do anything about it you can write you can dance you can do yoga you can meditate you can do some energy work but that doesn't but 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 you don't have to do anything in that moment but just feel it feel it in order to understand it and I've noticed that when I allow myself to feel through things, no matter how painful it is, when I allow myself to feel through things, things I start to understand whether I understand other people's points of view or I understand why I may be reacting in negative ways towards cer certain things. Granted, that doesn't change the fact that it hurts. It doesn't change the fact that something from the past may have created this or caused this, but ultimately feeling through it is absolutely necessary, okay? And I just saw 111, oh well, 1113, which looks like 1113, which is 1, 1, and 1 equals 3. 3 is a number of self-mastery. It's also a number of teamwork. In the Tarot, it is a number of self-mastery and building your own foundation. So with that said, with that number, 1113 or 1113, to me, that is a message of maintain a positive attitude, maintain a positive outlook, maintain control over your thoughts, but also keep in mind that the universe, spirit, the ascended masters, the angels, anything, any of the benevolent ones that you wish to call upon, even some of the malevolent ones could help you if you understand how to work with that energy and transmute that energy, if you can approach it from a place of what is this trying to teach me rather than why are these in these energies victimizing me, no matter whom you make, you, you feel drawn to call upon, they are here to help you. Okay. All right, cool. Let's get into this here. I'm going to give this three shuffles. And then we'll see what we've got for the day, yeah? What do we want? No. What do you want to talk about? I want to know what you want to talk about. Let's talk about it. Let's see what kind of guidance and what kind of clarity we can bring you here in today's session. Yes, my nose is starting to itch. So, okay, this could be an intense one. Here we go. Monday, May 18th, 2020. Monday, May 18th, 2020. What do we want to... Okay, well, justice came out. Uh, but it seems so far that justice... I want to say, unfortunately, justice is in reverse, but don't quote me on that. It's not that it's unfortunate just yet. We have that with, there you go. There it is. Exactly. You see? It's not unfortunate. Justice is in reverse, but that came out with the moon. And the moon is all about illusion. Um, it could also be about betrayal, because I just heard that. Um, illusion, fear, um, I'm hearing unrequited love situations. You know what I kind of want to say about this, you guys, with the moon upright and justice in reverse? This injustice that you seem to be facing right now is not what it seems. Mm. Okay, we do have the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to continue pulling, but I was drawn to see what the overall energy is at this moment. And right now it's the eight of pentacles. And what that's saying to me is this injustice is not is really is not what it seems it may not be it, it it may look like injustice right now but that just means what this is saying here is that justice hasn't quite been served yet a reversal in my opinion uh, <laughs> opinion in my opinion <laughs> yes that's with an o not with an r in my opinion as a reader reversed cards can mean one of three things it could mean there's a blockage it could mean that something hasn't quite worked out uh, or something, uh, sorry, it could be a blockage. It could mean something is over, something is done, 
something is not going to happen, um, something like that, or it means something is in the works. And right now with the moon here and justice, the moon being upright, justice being reversed, I feel like this is justice is actually in the works for you here. Because whatever injustice you seem to have faced in this moment is really just giving you an opportunity to do some work. Eight of Pentacles. To better craft yourself this i'm seeing the eight of pentacles right now as an expansion of the three of pentacles energy i'm just getting i, I i'm getting a self-mastery of a build uh, uh, an energy of, oh, excuse me <laughs> sorry i'm getting an energy of self-mastery or an energy of building i don't feel like you're quite done yet crafting something and when you think about it if if you take the physicality out of the eight of pentacles right or the eight of autumn in this deck and think about what we were talking about in the beginning of the reading or in the beginning of today's video. Using my life as an example, I am, quite frankly, in the process of doing this. And it feels, it doesn't feel like it's the Three of Pentacles, the three, five, five, five on the counter. The Three of Pentacles can actually seem like a little bit of an exciting energy, enthusiasm, I feel like. There's also an energy of like an apprentice type state of mind. And the apprentice is still learning, is probably still um, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, maybe a little bit green. The Eight of Pentacles or the Eight of Autumn can also be seen as a bit of a, an, an apprenticeship energy because normally, usually, this card is, in fact, depicted just like this one is. There's an elder individual who is kind of like a master at something, and they can be teaching a younger individual. Actually, I'm thinking of, this isn't actually a common, um, this isn't a common type of Im imagery. What I'm remembering is actually the vice versa deck where there is one side of the deck is the traditional one where it's just one individual crafting eight identical pentacles. And then on the other side of the card is like the apprenticeship energy where that, that same master uh, crafter is now teaching a young child. Um, I digress though. What I'm feeling here is the consistency, almost mundane boredom, less than ex exciting energy of the eight of pentacles where it's just you're doing something over and over and over and over and over and over again whether to master it or to just create multiples of the same type of product right that's not very exciting this doesn't feel very exciting it actually kind of be could be pretty painful could have could be pretty destructive could be pretty fearful there could be a lot of fearful energies here all right but ultimately, I feel like this justice is in reverse here because um, it's still being worked out. Something is still being developed or crafted. So you may not, and, and this could be anything, you guys. I am kind of picking up on maybe there's a, there's a divorce or some sort of legal situation that's going on here with justice. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic situations. Some of you could be waiting on some sort of litigation or you're waiting on some sort of result from a court system or a judge. Or maybe you're waiting to start your trial. Um, this could absolutely be in business. You could be taking a, a former business, business associate to court or maybe they're taking you to court. I don't know. I'm not trying to say who's right or wrong here. I'm just saying I am picking up on legal situations for some. For others, it doesn't have to be legal. It could be romantic. For me, using my life as an example, this is the injustice that I've been facing for the past 33 years from various different sources. You know what I mean? And it's all coming to a head right now. But I think also with the moon here, what the moon is actually symbolizing is a chance to see through the illusion, maybe even a chance to see why certain things happened the way they did, why there were certain injustices here, whatnot and whatever. And then that's providing you with a way of working your way out of it. Again, if there are things coming up for you guys here, and they're super painful, they're not necessarily something you wanna be seeing, let alone thinking or talking about, right? Allow yourself to feel through it because feeling through it is going to give you the frame of mind that you need to do the craftsmanship work to rebuild. Let's continue. Let's get a little bit more on this, please, Spirit. What else is coming up today for this? The moon upright with justice reversed, okay? We have the Five of Wands and we have the uh, Seven of Cups. 
No, I'm sorry, the Seven of Pentacles. A little bit more, please. Oh, there's the Five of Swords. Yikes. That doesn't feel relevant, so we're not going to take it. Just a little bit more, please, Spirit. Seven of Wands. Okay. Seven of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Nine of Wands, uh, Nine of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Overall energy. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Damn. But overall energy is the Ace of Pentacles, or in this case, the Ace of Autumn. This, if you guys are unfamiliar, this is the, um, this is the Fairy Tarot deck by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. I actually... I happen to really like this deck. It's really nice. Anyway, we have, and this actually turned out to be exactly what I was picking up on, but we have uh, the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands. All right, so it seems there is a difference of opinion in how things worked out or in how things transpired. There, There is a, there is a, there is there are two different points of view i'm not going to sit here and try to say one point of view is more correct or more right or more relevant than the other because that's just that's bullshit that's actually only fueling the fire of what difference of opinion or maybe even an ego battle in certain situations that'll only fuel that fire okay um everybody has their own point of view everybody has their own perspective but it seems that somebody here, even though you might have a different perspective, a different narrative in terms of the way things worked out, I really don't feel like you're trying to associate with it any longer. I don't feel like you're trying to uh, fight any longer. You may even be trying to avoid. I just heard avoidance. You may be trying to avoid that situation, those people, those circumstances, that fight, that 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 narrative, that situation. You may be trying to avoid that altogether. I get an energy of feeling like, you know what, I'm out of I just heard comeuppance too. But I'm I, I get a feeling of it's it, I'm done. Seven of Pentacles here is talking about learning through the contrast. And I get a very strong feeling that whatever justice in reverse and the moon represents to you as like the overarching situation that you're dealing with right now i feel like you have learned a valuable lesson is there everything that you have you learned everything that you possibly could from this situation no probably not but i don't think you're really willing to dive any deeper into it i think what i feel like here is saying between the seven of pentacles the nine of pentacles and the seven of wands i feel like you're saying enough is enough I don't, I, I mean, sure, there could be, there could be more, there could be more that you could have, you could deal with here. But I really feel like with that seven of pentacles, nine of pentacles, I really feel like here, someone is saying here, look, I've experienced enough. I, I don't need to go any deeper. I don't need to know any more about this. I want to get out of here or I want to try something new. I want to go in a different direction. I don't want to deal with this any longer. Some of you might be trying to pull away from the situation um, prematurely. Maybe this is another, maybe there are two people involved here. One person is like, you know what? I get it. I've seen enough. I want to move on. And then the other person is like, no, I, no, no, it happened this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. And you're, and the other person is standing here like, okay, well, I kind of, I perceive this, 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 and this. And y'all are just going back and forth here. And someone Okay, either someone is trying to leave the situation prematurely and block things out and not see the truth of the situation, or someone is is saying, I'm done, I've had enough, I just don't want to experience any of this any longer. Either way, though, no matter where you, which part of the spectrum you find yourself on, and this does kind of feel like someone that is trying to deny the situation or leave prematurely or not really handle the situation, knowing that there is an injustice happening here, but trying to annoy it, ignore it with the moon. Um, I kind of feel like that's an energy that we would call in this circumstance, being on the wrong side of history. 
And I'm, I'm saying that lightly. I'm not trying to insult anyone. I'm not trying to throw shade or daggers at anybody, but that's the feeling that I was getting with this. And that, that's what's coming up. So maybe that's just a popular way of saying it. Maybe that's what collectively a lot of people are feeling that are dealing with this. But again, the reason why I don't want to go too deep into that, because also that is a little bit, that has a, that kind of has a twinge of difference of opinion, maybe even narcissism. Um, there could be some level of, nar if uh, this could be someone that was dealing with a narcissist for a long time, one of the easiest ways to start to recognize and deal with narcissism is to observe it when it's happening in your own self when you're exhibiting narcissistic tendencies or whatnot, even if it's in the most minuscule way, noticing it within yourself is going to make it a lot easier for you to deal with it and notice it in a lot of others. A lot of the time when we have some really strong reactions towards, towards something, it's because it actually rain, rings true within us and we don't want to admit it. Anyway, okay. You know what? I'm going to do one last shuffle here because I want to make this even. Um, Ace of Pentacles, though, before I go any further, the Ace of Pentacles being at the bottom of the deck after the Seven and the Nine of Pentacles with the Five and the Seven of Wands came out. This is, this is representing a new beginning, a new start, a new adventure, going in a different direction. Okay, this is the person that's saying, I've had enough. I've learned what I've, I've learned everything or I've experienced enough of what I can handle in this situation. Um, and I don't want any more. I'm not trying to say, okay, well, I'll go finish somewhere else. No, I'm done. And so thus someone has a new beginning. And I feel like there is a concert, there is a conscious effort to make a new start for yourself. And that could very well be mostly on the universe, universe, <laughs> universe's behalf. You may not be really trying to make any sort of, take any sort of action right now, but ultimately I feel like there is a lot of energetic, momentum underway to start something new to create something new for yourself but before i go into any sort of clarification i want to come i want to even this out and i want to get one more pull on this five of wands here please spirit just one more card on the five of wands if you don't mind or the five of spring here please spirit there it is right there the wheel of four yeah look at that the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Oh, <laughs> and then we come to the tower at the bottom of the deck. All right, look, I really do feel like there is someone there. Are, there are two sides to this equation. All right, you do both sides of the party or both sides of the situation, whether this is a large group of people that are split down the middle. OK, it doesn't even have to be a perfect split, but you get what I'm saying. It doesn't just have to be two people. It could be a collective of people. It could be you and some other people against some other people. It could be you against a whole bunch of other people. It doesn't matter. All right. This is a general reading. But what is separating you or what is separating the parties right now? What is separating the group or the people is the seven of pentacles learning through the contrast. Okay. Um, I mean, I know this card is saying certain things like have patience and don't worry, take time to rest and plan your next steps, a prudent investment of time or money. The last sentence, a prudent investment of time or money feels like it's the most relevant to this situation right now, because I feel like there's someone here or there, someone is understanding that, this is no longer something I want to make an investment in. Okay. And so as a result, this person is taking, is standing on their own, is being independent and is saying no more. Nine of pentacles, seven of wands. Nine of pentacles is the, or nine of autumn, seven of spring. Nine of autumn is the energy of, traditionally is the energy of being independent, being single. Yes. So someone could be coming single. Again, we could be talking divorce or this breakup of a relationship, a longstanding relationship or something. Being single, but being independent, being a free thinker, standing on your own, being financially independent and all that kind of stuff. 
what I'm getting with the nine of autumn in this sense is this is a this is you standing firm in your point of view, in your opinion, in where it is you see yourself and also where it is you want to be going moving forward, because I feel like there is a lot of energy in honoring where it is you would like to end up after all of this is gone. Right. OK, so that's one side of the equation. Someone on one side has learned the lesson and saying enough is enough. I'm moving on. I'm not dealing with this any longer. While the other person or the other side of the equation is in the five of spring with the wheel of fortune in reverse. This person does not want to change, is resisting change drastically, tooth, fighting against this tooth and nail. And it's funny because what I'm getting from the wheel of fortune in this circumstance is that it's very much what I picked up on when the seven of pentacles came out the first time. Uh, uh, what is it? Did I actually, I don't think I said it, but there is an energy of having made your bed and now needing to lay in it. What I'm getting with the wheel of fortune in reverse is this person doesn't realize, or this side of the equation doesn't realize that it is in fact their actions that have created this situation that they don't or, or at least that has helped not created the situation that's that, that's putting too much on their too much responsibility on their bird on their and burden on their shoulders because ultimately all relationships are a two-way street but but it is the direct result of i want to say it's a direct result of something that a way that they have approached the situation or a way that they have acted in the situation or a way that they have handled the situation. Not to say that the other side of the equation is immaculate. No. All relationships are a two-way street. But at least this person is, oh gosh, at least this side of the equation is being responsible and saying, and owning up at least owning up enough to say, you know what? Enough is enough. We're not doing this any longer. We're going to, we're going to spin our wheels fighting with each other, you know, over this difference of opinion forever. So this person or this side of the equation with the five of wands and the wheel of fortune in reverse is doing nothing but perpetuating this cycle over and over and over again by fighting by standing firm in whatever belief system they've been in the whole time. Nothing is going to change for this side of the equation. The wheel of fortune is in reverse. This side of the equation is going to be stuck in this karmic cycle until they let their ego go and start to try and see things from different points of view rather than their own. This is what is holding this side of the equation back. This is what's holding the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Not being willing to let go of their own opinion, their own. And it's not like it's everybody. Everybody has the right to their, to their own opinion. It just feels like in this situation and the cards, are, the cards don't lie. It's the opinion that this side of the equation holds that's keeping this situation going. That's keeping this negative circumstance going. That's keeping this negative karma, karmic cycle going. The other side of the equation, and I'm not even going to say that the other side of the equation here with the nine of pentacles and the seven of wands is even all that right. I'm not even going to say that, that this side of the equation with the nine of pentacles and the seven of wands was doing everything right the whole time or was immaculate or is some sort of saint. No, absolutely not. But the... The difference. You, I mean, both sides to the of the equation could have been nasty, narcissistic, just wretched people the whole time. Okay, the difference is that this side of the equation, with the nine of pentacles and the seven of wands, seems to have learned their lesson in some way, or is at least saying, "No more of this. I've had enough. I'm exhausted." I'm not doing this anymore. Whether they're whether this side of the equation is going to continue to perpetuate that situation on their own, that is yet to be seen. But right now, in terms of what we have in front of us right here, one side of the equation has had enough. The other side of the equation, I guess, hasn't. <laughs> because the other side of the equation just wants to keep this drama, this cycle going. And thus, we're left with a tower moment. 
life experience. Card number 16. In this deck, this is the tower. Can you, there we go. Just wanted to, to focus a little more. So we have a tower moment. All right. Look, y'all, it is what it is. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger, please. Good Lord, my nose. I think it's my nose hairs this time. <laughs> they like, they like tickle my nose. It's, it's really obnoxious. Okay, anyway, let's get into some clarification here. I want to break down. This is actually going to be a little bit of a longer session. It's already 35 minutes in. And I, I want to break down some of the, anim the enemies. Whoa energies <laughs> i want to break down some of the energies of both sides of this equation okay so because look the connecting energy between the two of you is the seven of autumn or the seven of pentacles there there was a lesson to learn here that is what's uh, you two are or these sides whomever we're talking about here you're both facing the same lesson or at least you're both coming out of or are extending from the same lesson of the seven of pentacles whatever this is for you this is something that has um there's been a lot of time and effort put into this situation this circumstance maybe even this relationship there's been a lot of experience a lot of things happenings that have experienced that have been experienced during this time period this could even be something that spans over lifetimes okay actually i do i really do feel like a lot of us are dealing with a lot of things a lot of energies from past lifetimes that just haven't been cleaned out i know i have been and to be quite honest i'm not sure i want to admit this right now but it's i heard it i heard it said in my head so it's something that should be channeled but that's kind of what i feel like this whole twin flame energy has been for me at least up until this point i don't know what it's going to be moving forward I know for a fact that I, I just like anytime I hear that name or I think I hear anything about like relationships or divine partnerships or something like I, I cringe. But ultimately what I dealt with, with what we have called twin flame energies has been a lesson in betrayal. It really has thrown in my face all of the different ways that i was allowing myself to be betrayed and it makes perfect sense because the twin flame journey as i've come to learn about it what i've come to understand about it is the twin flame journey is not about the end goal of being with a specific individual that you consider to be your twin flame that activated you that triggered the whole thing whatever it's really about the journey of unconditional love and coming back to yourself coming back to a sense of wholeness within the self. So I've progressed, we'll talk about this for a second. I've progressed on the journey to the point where it's like I am completely 100% okay and nowhere near looking for, maybe even to the point that I'm pushing away any sort of, of energies of him and I ever reconnecting, um, ever really becoming friends of of ever of us ever speaking to each other again seeing each other again um let alone i, I don't even want to i don't want to go any further than that right i mean I, i'm kind of pushing that away but i'm at i'm finally at this point right now where i am 100 percent a-okay if we never see each other again if we never cross paths again i'm okay with it of course there is still a little bit of bitterness there because the other side of the situation is me kind of pushing everyone away not wanting to not wanting to get to know anybody not wanting to hang out with friends not wanting to um even let any sort of inclination towards love relationship anything that i wanted i've always wanted up into my life uh, my whole life romantically pushing all of that away because i'm still dealing with the energies of purging with the energies of purging the betrayals and that, that whole twin flame thing, that very much was a past life connection. And I've come to understand that certain, certain things had to be, had to manifest they way, the way that they did in this lifetime for the cycle to be broken. You see here? 
for the cycle to be broken. Of course, the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse here, and it's talking about um, someone being stuck in a cycle. But, but see, that's part. That's one side of the equation. The other side of the equation is like, no, I'm good. I've learned enough. I get it now. I'm good. Okay, fine. So let's look at. We're going to look at the seven of spring, nine of autumn side of the equation first, and then we're going to look at the five of spring and the wheel of fortune in reverse on the other side. But first, let's look into the energies of this side of the equation. Seven of spring, nine of autumn. Last shuffle. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Seven of spring, nine of autumn. What is going on on this side of the equation? Let's look a little deeper into these energies here. Yeah, look at that. The hanged man. That's enough. Oh, 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 shit. Okay, yeah, look. Do you need any more confirmation? I mean, we have two more cards on the table, and we're going to look at the bottom of the deck. But do you need any more confirmation about this side of the equation? Seven of wands, nine of autumn. You've got the Hanged Man and the Ten of Swords. Talk about a change in perspective. Talk about saying enough is enough. I get it now. I've seen enough. I'm not going to be stuck here any longer. You could have felt very stuck. You could have felt like you were... This could very well be a devil-type energy. You could have felt like you were bound to this situation in ways that were just not even fair. But you see, now that you see a, see things from a different perspective, from a different point of view, you can release yourself from it. What else do we have? There you go. There you go. There you... Oh my god. Can you look at this, y'all? Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Cups. So yes, this is a period right now of work. Craftsmanship. That doesn't mean that you have to... Spirit is saying this very, very clearly. This Forget about the fact that this is a Pentacle card. And Pentacles represents physical energy. Physical action or physicality this doesn't have to be physical in nature this work that you're doing this could very well be emotional internal work but you are working towards your satisfaction do you see that do you see that this is what i've been picking up on all along on this in this reading here seven of wands nine of pentacles you have you're standing on your own you're being independent you're taking your life and you're moving on and you're staying Guarded boundaries out the wazoo, right? Because you have received or found or acquired or cultivated the change in perspective that you need to do the work to put an end to the pain. And thus, that is, that is bringing you satisfaction. But also, also, what I'm feeling here with the Nine of Cups is I feel like you have a good amount of satisfaction right now just in putting this situation to rest that you need to just take some time and revel in and actually part of the reason why there could be a seem like there's a delay here or a lull in the movement in the progress is because spirit really wants you to enjoy this spirit really wants you or your higher self whatever however you reckon resonate with it they really really want you to take this time to understand what you're coming out of and enjoy that. Enjoy this sense of freedom. And if it takes you some time to cultivate some energies towards feeling good about where it is you're going or what is happening right now, then do that. Take that time. If that's the work you need to do right now, Eight of Pentacles, cultivating this awareness of freedom and being happy, allowing yourself being able to be happy in that, and that's the work you need to be doing right now. At the bottom of the deck, damn, you've got the Three of Cups. Celebration, happiness. Sorry, guys, I gotta pause for a second. I'm so sorry, guys. I had to pause for a second and blow my nose. I really must be channeling some strong shit right now because my nose is tickling. It's not even itching. It's just something is tickling my nose. And it's not my allergies. Sidebar. My allergies have not been bothering me lately. Normally, when spring comes, right around my birthday, my birthday is May 6th, when I was growing up, 
within like the month of May, even through halfway through June, even my allergies would be so bad that I couldn't even be outside for more than five minutes without my face starting to explode. Right. And I text my dad, I think it was Saturday morning. I text my dad and I was like, wait, dad, I just realized something. My allergies aren't exploding. How are you doing? Because he, I get, I think I get my, my allergies from his side of the family. Cause he always had it pretty bad too. And his hasn't even been that bad lately. Crazy. But I am not gonna, I am not gonna bemoan that one because trust me, man. God, it was incapacitating. Like it was one of the worst things. Like I literally could not go outside. And the worst was when I was working in a restaurant and was stationed outside that day. Oh God, it was hell. It was absolute hell. Anyway, sorry, I had to pause for a second so I could handle that. But three of cups at the bottom of the deck for this side of the equation, man. This is your graduation party for sure for real like the universe is celebrating along with you keep in mind though what the spirit is saying is the universe is very under is, is very aware of just how worn out you might be because it feels like you've been struggling for a long time this is not an easy situation to break away from this is not an easy situation to learn from so take all the time that you need okay all right, cool. Now let's look at the other side of the equation. We have the five of wands and the wheel of fortune in reverse. So let's look at that. What is this? Let's look a little deeper into these energies here. The 10 of cups and it has come out reversed. Oh Lord. Uh, the hierophant is upright. They're saying the hierophant is upright. Take this one too. Oh, look, there's that three of cups again. All right. Ten of Cups is all bright also. Ooh. Nine of Pentacles again. Okay. Okay. Um... No, Ten of Cups is reversed, but the Hierophant is upright. All right, look here. Here we go, guys. This is, might be a little bit triggering, but the energies that I'm getting from the other side of the equation here, we have the Hierophant, the Four of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, but then the Ten of Cups is in reverse. So... It feels like this side of the equation is very well rooted. I'm hearing complacent, but it's very well rooted in the status quo and the way things are, the way things have been. There's balance here. There's a sense of community. There's a sense of communal understanding. There's solid foundation here. And this side of the equation with it being, with having the nine of pentacles here as the overall, oh, sorry, as the overall energy at the bottom of the deck, I just, this, <sighs> Look, these energies, this person is whatever, this group, this person, whatever, they're good where they are. They're good where they are. Problem, though. Problem. Because on this side of the equation, they have the Nine of Cups upright. On this side of the equation, they have the Ten of Cups, but it is reversed. So it seems, I'm just going to, I'm just going to tell it like it is and tell it how I see it. It seems that, you know, you know what? They're good. They're good. They have their structure. They have their foundation. They have their community. They have their like-minded individuals. There's a, there's a sense of balance in that life, in that lifestyle. I mean, I guess you could say it's sustainable to a certain degree, but there's a level of conformity that you have to abide to to experience the, 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 the stability here. One problem though, that 10 of cups is reversed. So there's stability, there's community. There are like-minded individuals. There are people that are going to be around that will be able to validate you, but answer something for me. Who are they really validating? Are they validating you as the true person that you are in your authenticity, in your integrity, or 
Are they validating the status quo? The Hierophant. Because at the bottom of the deck here, on this side of the equation, is the Nine of Pentacles. And sure, you can say that this group of individuals or this person is standing independently on their own, but I get a sense that if someone is standing independently, kind of like almost mirroring this Nine of Pentacles energy, which... There it is. It's as if they're trying to make it seem like they're just as well off or justified as you or the other side of the equation. And yet there is a falsehood here because of this. Because I feel like the nine of pentacles is saying, yeah, you have all of this stuff here, but you don't have the uh, ultimate wish fulfillment that you want and need. And ultimately, in order for you to get that, you're going to have to stand on your own. This might be a well-established environment, a well-established energy. It might even be a happy home to a certain extent. If you like conformity, if you like the hive mind telling you what to do, if you like everyone else living up to everyone else's expectations. And if that's you, then please, by all means, continue. No shade. No, 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 no disrespect. Absolutely no disrespect. But you can't, but, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. And I guess this is why there's this little twinge of cynicism in my voice, if that's what you even want to call it. Because you can't, you can't look at someone external to you and say, this is the way it should be done. Or... Well, this is the way we do things here. And expect someone else to just fall in line. Especially not someone that's independent as this. Especially not someone that has, has gained some sort of change in perspective here. That now looks at this conformist or the status quo energy and says, You have got to be fucking kidding me. I will not kowtow to that. I will kowtow to no one. Have you forgotten? that I'm independent? Oh, well, well, you know, you know, we're independent too. No, you're not. You're conformists. But again, if that is something that you enjoy, if that is something that brings you happiness, it brings you fulfillment or brings you to the stability, brings you the stability that you want. This is so well rooted. I mean, this is so well rooted. It's going to take a pretty extreme inside job to uproot this shit. But why would you want to do that? Why would you want to inject yourself into that? I mean, it, it has to be done from the inside. And it feels like it has to be done from someone that, that really, truly believed in it at some point. It can't be some rebel that's coming in trying to disguise themselves as a, as a team player only to destroy things. No. It, what this feels like here, it has to be destroyed from the inside if it's going to be destroyed at all. And quite frankly, whether it's destroyed or not is none of your business or is none of this person's business and they're not trying to make it their business. I really feel like there was a soulmate connection here that was really quite sorely missed because underneath the Nine of Pentacles is the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is the soulmate card. In order for you to really align with your soulmate, you have to be independent and align with your soul. And your soul is individual. Or, or intends, has intentions of being, so it, it is an individual. Your soul is an individual. Let's just call a spade a spade. You are meant to be an individual. I'm, whatever. I'm, I, I'm not trying to sit here and say I know anyone's life better than them. I'm not trying to tell you one side of the equation is wrong or right. I'm not trying to tell you one side of the equation is better or worse. But we do have a differing of opinion here. And what's hinging on that is a sense of independence. Someone here is breaking free from the mold. The other person is staying, is staying where they find themselves. You know what? 
I want to look a little deeper because this energy is a little confusing here. Let's talk about this. I want to look a little deeper at the Ten of Cups in reverse. Why is this Ten of Cups in reverse here? Knight of Cups. The Fool. Nine of Swords. Oh, shit. The Lovers. And something fell on the floor. Oh, the Two of Swords. Look at that. There's Denial. Temperance is at the bottom of the deck. All right, Ten of Cups. Oh, shit. All right, hold on. Bear with me. Knight of Cups. The Fool. Someone is following their heart. Nine of Swords. Another person doesn't like that. Two of Swords is in denial over a relationship or a, I told you, a partnership, a soulmate bond, something like that. The Lovers. Nine of Pentacles goes there. It is again. Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles. This is a soulmate bond. And actually, here you go. These are the, these are the, this could be a romantic relationship. This could be a soulmate bond. Soulmates doesn't have to be romance. It can just be business partners or something like that or family. But look, you have, the, these are the two people right here or the, the two sides of the connection right here. One is in the nine of pentacles. The other is in the five of pentacles with a soulmate connection in between them. Six of cups. Someone is feeling good, feeling confident, feeling themselves, knowing exactly who they are or uh, having a better idea of who they are and is moving forward with that, not taking no for an answer, not taking shit from anybody. And then the other side of the equation is not feeling worthy. Five of pentacles. But that absolutely could be why this person is staying, staying here in what they know. Complacency. That makes perfect sense. And if that's you, I am not trying to knock that. I'm not going to, uh, again, no side of this situation is better or worse. It is all a difference of opinion. Okay. So don't even worry about that. But this is why the 10 of cups is in reverse here. Someone is following heart, taking their leap of, taking a leap of faith and moving forward. And that actually could be creating a circumstance in which someone actually does want to reach out. But I feel like you, they might be wanting to reach out to stop you from moving forward or stop someone from taking a leap of faith. But also, Nine of Swords, Two of Swords, The Lovers. I don't think this person can, can ignore this connection any longer. I mean, they may be sitting here in this Two of Swords energy, but underneath that Two of Swords energy, there is a whirlwind of anxiety. All because of this connection. Could be romance, could be family, could be business, could be anything. All right. But at the bottom of the deck, though, is temperance. And temperance is talking about patience. And that's bringing us back to the beginning of the reading, where I was picking up on the fact that this could actually just be giving you an, a, a period, either you, one side of the equation, or maybe both sides of the equation, to work on themselves, to heal to alchemize, to come together within themselves. Patience. But hey, continue to, I would recommend continuing to focus on what your hap where your happiness lies, okay? And follow that. All right, let's close this out because this is an hour long reading. <laughs> let's close this out. And I wanna get Oracle guidance from the Gaia Oracle today. All right, last shuffle. There it is. Card number 12, Sacred Heart, Passion, Love, Spiritual Communion. Okay. Sacred Heart. You are entering a period of profound, heartfelt, profound and heartfelt love, a deeply emotional time where you focus on, question, and think about the things that matter to you most. You will find yourself reevaluating your priorities and core values, and this leads you along a path of self-discovery, bringing with it a deepened spiritual connection to the earth, your surroundings, family, friends, and loved ones. Your passion and appreciation for life are heightened. At times, your emotions overflow to the point of being most unbearable. 
Yet this is nothing to fear or be concerned about, for this is a most sacred and precious time through which your loving intentions both are both seen and felt by all around. Your inner light and wisdom illuminates, heals, and inspires. This is a good time for creative writing, or you may feel inclined, inclined to draw, paint, or take up a creative pursuit of some kind. Thank the earth and stars for the many blessings you receive. There is an affirmation here that we can read through. You can follow with me. Say it after. I am in tune with my inner light and wisdom. I am guided always by love. I energetically share my light and wisdom with others. I am one with the earth and stars. The guidance I receive is free from the limitations of time and space. One more time. I am in tune with my inner light and wisdom. I am guided always by love. I energetically share my light and wisdom with others. I am one with the earth and stars. The guidance I receive is free from the limitations of time and space. All right, guys, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.